Info dumps. They're always bad, right? Hi, I'm Jed and this is Daily Writing Advice. So as I've mentioned in some previous episodes, I was fortunate enough to recently interview Gareth Hanrahan, author of The Gutter Prayer, which is a fantastic fantasy novel. Definitely has the best world building I've read in a fantasy novel this year. And when I was asking him about the writing advice that has served him well over the years, he told me about this quote from Kim Stanley Robinson, who wrote the Mars Trilogy, which is a, a hard sci-fi trilogy about humans terraforming Mars from a red Mars to a Mars that has oceans and forests and all the life we associate with Earth on this new planet. And Kim Stanley Robinson was talking about this idea of info dumps. Now, if you're familiar with writing advice, you've probably heard the info dumps suck. And most of the time, they do, because they're lazy, and because readers don't want to read a wall of autobiographical information about a character, or they don't want to read the geography of your world, or the history of your cultures that you've invented. But sometimes they do, because it's all coming back to what you think, what you think readers will enjoy. And in a hard sci-fi book, where readers are coming for the science, and maybe more so for the science and less so for the fiction, they don't mind the author just info dumping knowledge to them about how Mars is being transformed. In fact, readers will probably prefer that one page of concise info dumping as opposed to 10 pages of a kind of flimsy scene where two characters are walking together and tangentially discussing the world building of the story in a way that is kind of trying to subtly slip it into readers' subconscious without actually being too overt and info dumpy. Now this isn't saying that you have a free reign to just go and info dump whatever was in your outline into your book onto your readers, but sometimes it's okay to info dump. So I guess the main lesson that I'd like you to take away from this is exactly that. Consider the lessons that you're absorbing from all those writing advice videos and podcasts and articles out there, mine included. Anytime someone gives you a concrete rule, it may not necessarily apply for the kind of readers that you're writing for. So just keep that in mind as you're working on your book. Now go and write extraordinary stories, info dumping as needed. See you next time.